and members of Casa de Dios. I really want to wish all of you a blessed Christmas and an apostolic prophetic uh, New Year 2012. As we are entering, I just want to encourage you that uh, Jesus uh, said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, that the kingdom of God is taken by violence and it is taken by force. From the day of John the Baptist, when Jesus came into the world, he came like a light into the world as we celebrate Christmas is light into a dark world. And he gave the power and authority to all of us to carry that light and to remove darkness from this earth and bring light. Therefore, let us buy violence because it is not going to be easy. It is spiritual warfare. It is a prayer. It is understanding warfare strategy. It is commitment. It is faith. It is keeping the vision that Jesus has given to the house of God. And therefore, I encourage all of you, brothers and sisters, as you celebrate, the real celebration is to see people having Jesus born in their heart, born again, saved, added into the kingdom, the, the darkness taken out of them by violence, by faith, by prayer, and set them free from the chains of Satan and bringing them into the kingdom of life. Second point I'd like to share is Jesus also gave a parable that one is given a talent, another one given two talents, the other was given five talents. When he came back, found out the one who got the one talent didn't understand God, didn't understand his boss, didn't understand what it means to multiply. He buried it. But the other two, the one with the two talents and the five talents, they worked hard. They knew this is a God-given talent and they knew the purpose and they focus themselves into it. They use wisdom, initiative, hard work, and they put their commitment, sacrifice into it. And as a result, they multiplied. In the same way, each one of us has given gift, calling, grace, talents. Let us use our initiative and put our heart into it. Put some sacrifice. So when the master comes, we are ready. We have done it all, not for man, but for God, so that the reward is eternal. Uh, on behalf of uh, Tabernacle of Holiness Ministry, the Elders Board, the members, Singapore, we want to wish and bless all of you in Casa Dios uh, a blessed uh, Christmas and a prosperous prophetic New Year as you launch into the great vision that God has given as a church. And I believe in the coming days there's going to be multiplication and you're going to make war and see people from the dark world coming into the light that this world will see light more than darkness. God bless you. See you again. Bye. On behalf of my very self, Pastor Bayas Oga, and Bishop Roland E.K. from Lagos, Nigeria, this is reaching the members of Casa de Hills Church in America under the leadership of Pastor Cristobal Lezadama. A wonderful time as you start this new world. We believe that the glory of God and the power of God will be upon you. And we wish you all the best of God in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe that Pastor Cristobal is a wonderful man of God. The anointing of God is upon his life. The hand of God is upon his life. We want to encourage you. You spend time to worship with them and enjoy the presence of God. Your life will be transformed. Your family will be saved. And there will be a blessing upon you. Stay blessed in Jesus name. Amen. Greetings from Kingdom Epicenter Tattoo Estonia. House of God, rejoice, and again I say rejoice, for the hour has come for you to see God's manifestation. Every word that is released from the throne room of God into your spirit, you shall speak. Do not hold back, do not fear, do not limit yourself, but speak forth. The word of God is like a hammer. When you speak the received word, in the spirit you are going to hammer down many unseen walls which will open up for his glory to come in be cheerful guys i'm so excited i get to be a part of this launching of you into the new beginnings that god has for you you know i love change i love the way that it keeps us fresh and keeps us always on the move you know, one of my most favorite scriptures is in Matthew 11, and I just want to share that with you this morning. And, you know, let me read this, and we'll pick up around um, verse 29, and it says, Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn how to live freely and lightly.
You know, I really believe that the work of the ministry was never supposed to feel like work. That it always was supposed to feel like full of joy and love and compassion for his people. And I know that God's filled you with that and that it will be your plumb line, you know, into the things that he's called you to. So with great joy and with great blessings, I just encourage you and just know that I'm praying for you guys. I'm here for you and however I can. And I just, I just bless you with all the blessings of heaven. And let those joy bells ring. So cheers. See you guys soon.